If you could fly any person, who would you fly? Justin Bieber. Hey guys, we are here with Mr. Danny. Mr. Hollywood is his nickname, apparently. I just found out. But <laughs> Danny, uh, do you mind introducing yourself to the folks back home and just letting us know how long you've been flying for and how long you've been with Maverick? Well, my name is Danny Hodges. Uh, I have no idea, but my first day at work, Dwayne, our director of training, said, Hey, Hollywood, you know, go pre flight an aircraft, and the name just stuck. So, yeah, I've been flying for five years now, and it's. Mm going great. This is a great company to work for. You know, with National Aviation Day coming up, that was a holiday that was originally proclaimed by FDR. It's really just celebrating the progression of aviation since then. So if you could fly any aircraft, what would it be and why? I have had a dream to fly an Airbus product that is just like this. Here, I actually have it on my phone. It's my background. It's your background. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. So I'll show it off. It's the uh, H160. There you go. Oh, wow. So H160. Brand new. Yeah, take it. Wow. Beautiful? Primarily, from what I'm getting, they're going to replace the Dolphin. And the Dolphin has been used in a whole plethora of search and rescue missions, primarily mm. with the Coast Guard. Flying the 130s are cool, too. They, they're beautiful helicopters. Airbus yeah. is, is my favorite, personally. We love Airbus. Obviously, clearly, that's the only helicopter we fly, we right? Got. Do you have a dream aircraft that you would love to fly someday? Or um, are you living the dream now. I mean, this is a good step, but I'd like to eventually fly the Sky Crane, uh, Ooh, fighting fires. Oh. It's a pretty massive helicopter. Yeah, I just like to fly that doing firefighting. The K Max helicopter. They use it for utility a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've seen them in fighting fires, but they're really rare. They're really rare. So they're just dual rotor heads intermeshing. They're weird looking. So they only have two? two they have two, two rotors, rotors, right? Oh. They're like a V shaped. So one on each huh. one. Probably a Blackhawk. A black hawk. Yeah, it's a big military helicopter. Oh, so, okay. That or Chinook, same thing, military. But uh, I didn't go in the army, so I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every day is living the dream. So I feel like you know, as soon as you fly the next thing, you'll just miss you know the good old R twenty two, what you started in. Oh, is that what the starting helicopter is? For, for most a lot people, of people, is yep. What what is an R twenty two? It's like a lawnmower. <laughs> they turned into a helicopter. And then compared to what you fly now, if you had to make kind of like a similar parallel, you know, you started in a lawnmower, so what mm -hmm. are you flying now? It's more like a sports car. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Upgraded. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Most people want to fly the really big stuff, but I'm like, why do I want to fly a school bus? <laughs> you know, I like... Well, because, you know, there's a whole show on that. The Magic School Bus. Oh, yeah, that's true. Ms. I never Frizzle. thought of Miss Frizzle as a pilot. She is! Yeah! Whoa! We're making discoveries here yeah. on National Aviation Day. A jetpack would be cool. A um, jetpack? Is <laughs> sure. that an aircraft? <laughs> yeah, why not? That it's carrying cool. me and it's a craft it's that a, flies it's through a, the it's air. A, it's a craft that's so. flying through the air. <laughs> Probably a UFO. A UFO? Yeah. Are you going to be at the Area 51 raid? So for people that don't know, could you just tell us a little bit about the aircraft that we fly here at Maverick? The helicopter we fly is an Airbus H-130, mm -hmm. formerly Eurocopter EC-130, that's what okay. the EC stand for. Oh, um, okay. They are uh, pretty amazing machines, they have about 742 horsepower. Uh, we could carry up to eight people, including myself. You know, fairly modern design of helicopter and they get the job done, you know, air conditioning. We have all the uh, bells and whistles, I guess you could say, carpet, leather seats, all that stuff you would put in a sport sports car. Um, it's kind of like a flying sports car. Yeah. A flying sports car that you could fit a bunch of people in. It's the ultimate all-terrain vehicle is what I say. You know there was actually an article that was put out. It was put out in Hawaii and it was interviewing one of our helicopter pilots over there and he was saying selfishly one of the reasons why he wanted to work for Maverick was to fly our Eco Stars. So yeah. I gotta ask what makes our Eco Stars so desirable for pilots to fly? Okay, so the biggest deal is comfort. Hmm. Like, they are a very comfortable ship. Um, any helicopter, the way I liken it is like, an airplane is kind of like a Bentley. You get there in style, it's smooth, mm -hmm. it's cool. But helicopters are forever the motorcycles of the aviation world. They are so agile and you can put it anywhere you want. We land in the Grand Canyon, yeah. there's no runway, there's no spot. It's like, it's like landing on a dime, yeah. right? So what they've done, what Airbus has done, has created a platform that is entirely comfortable for the passenger and likewise for the pilot experience. Mm. 
If you could fly anybody mm. in a helicopter, who would it be? Uh, Morgan Freeman, but he has to narrate. <laughs> or David Attenborough. Yeah. So are you just going to give him a script or yeah, something like that? You're just like, instead of you talking about the Grand Canyon right. and like giving all the facts, They're you're gonna just going to have... You're just yeah. gonna have them tell you. Right. That's a good one. So Morgan Freeman, if you're out there, we invite you to come on one of our flights, particularly Matt's. Absolutely. <laughs> if that ever happens, please let me know because oh, yeah. I need to hop on that You'll flight. Be the first to know. Okay, cool. Hey, do you have like a dream passenger? <sighs> Previous pilots have said Will Smith, <laughs> Morgan Freeman, except to make him narrate instead of. Oh yeah, he's, <laughs> I would probably fall asleep with him talking. Though, cause oh no. I, so, I would say no Morgan Freeman on Jared's flight. Probably Tom Cruise. <gasps> Oh, be, that would be so yeah. trippy. There's a lot of people I would definitely enjoy flying, but Tom Cruise would be a huge hit. That's a good one. Everything he's done. All right, Tom Cruise, if you're listening, <laughs> you flown Mandy Moore? Yeah, she's amazing. Oh, she's wow. She's really friendly. Aww. Super nice. I'm so jealous. That's so I nice. I do like Floyd Mayweather, though. He's a cool guy. Oh, that's so. cool. Our Vegas native. He lives here, right? Yeah, he has a jet out here, I believe. I think he's a really nice guy. I've always been a big fan of Edward Norton. I just think oh. it's fantastic. It's kind of a random thing, but that I think, is, I think he's a really good actor. But I think that uh, Tom Cruise would also, also be awesome too, because he's learned how to fly and he was in Top Gun. So, you know, that's pretty cool. He can actually fly? Yeah, he got his pilot's license oh. in this last movie that he did. He actually learned how to fly helicopters. So Whoa. it'd be fun to fly with him and talk with him about that. I think it would be pretty comical to fly and cool to fly Abraham Lincoln. Um, Abraham Lincoln? With his top hat on. With his top hat on? <laughs> yeah. how, how tall is Abraham Lincoln? You know, if he's a million feet tall, plus he has his hat, like how far would he have to bend over to get into the helicopter? Uh, I, I would feel really bad after a while, uh, especially with a top hat on. It'd probably be crushed around his ears. <laughs> what would you even talk about with Abraham Lincoln? I'd have him tell me his Gettysburg address yeah. over and over and over. And over. <laughs> You'd just be like, can you, can you do that one address yes. one more time? What's that again? The four score part? <laughs> say four score again. <laughs> oh man, I'd say probably Will Smith or... Uh, uh, Justin Bieber. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to expound on that. <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You can't go wrong with that, right? Are you gonna have him sing the theme song to you or request that? No, I'm gonna sing it. You're gonna sing him. it to yes. him? Yes. With, you're gonna perform for him? I will. So, Will Smith, if you're out there, <laughs> this is your invitation to come fly with us because Matt will give you a special performance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know all the words. Are you gonna perform for Justin Bieber as well? Uh, I'll, he's a good performer, so I'll just sit back and, and watch him. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite Justin Bieber song? Uh, probably uh, One Less Lonely Girl. Ah, good one. That's a good one.